Okay, so we're going to do some headstand practice. So we're going to do headstand prep and then we're going to go up into headstand um, and we can look at a couple of different ways to do that. Um, so what you can do if you haven't done headstand before is you can use the wall, okay? So you can come down onto your forearms. It's a nice way to measure um, whether you're, um, where your arms should be is to grasp the other side of your elbows. So press your elbows down and then you bring your hands out in front and interlace your fingers and you're going to rest your head in the crown of your head into your palms, okay? So there's not going to be any weight on the head, but that's uh, where you're pressing, putting the head position. So you're going to come down, okay? And you're going to toes and you're going to lift through your hips, okay? And then from here, you can just practice. So you can simply practice that, putting weight down through your forearms and keeping your hips nice and high. If you're really tight in your hamstrings, this is even, you know, a stretch, but also a forearm workout. So hips are high. You can come all the way down onto your feet or stay up onto your toes, depends on the length of your hamstring. But then what you can do to bring it that little bit further, so your head's actually off the ground in this pose your head's not on the ground so you're going to walk your feet up onto the wall so you want them parallel with your hips and you're holding up in that position your head can come down but there's no weight through the head in this position so your shoulders are over your elbows tuck your ribs in if you can and you can just hold this posture you can lift one leg up the other leg up but you don't want to go into headstand from that position. That is just training, strengthening to get yourself able to go up into headstand. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll demonstrate headstand from the side. Um, a few different ways to go up into headstand, depends on your preference. Big thing is, again, no weight or minimal weight going down through the head, okay? So you're resting on your forearm, forearms, you're interlacing the fingers, so you're making sure your shoulders are over your elbows. The thing that you're supposed to do here is imagine that you're drawing your elbows towards each other so that you're getting nice activity through the arms. When you go to lift up, your elbows want to splay away from each other. Try not to let that happen, okay? So you're going to lift up into that kind of downward dog position. Um, and you're resting your head in between and um, so the forehead is in between the hands and then you're going to walk your feet forwards as much as you can and you're going to lift one leg up so this is one version you're going to lift one leg up and then slowly nice and slow all the way up with the other leg Okay, so that's one version. It's not as easy once you're bringing the legs up to make the other leg to keep the, the core and the balance nice and strong. Um, the second version that I'm going to show you is a bit more challenging to get the lift off. But once you have the lift off, you're a little bit more in control is what I would say. So you're bringing the forearms back down again underneath the head, interlace your fingers, rest your head in between your hands okay and then you come up into that position walk your feet forwards as much as you can okay and then really push your elbows down into the mat okay and then from here you're going to bend your knees into your chest and one foot then the other foot okay so then you bring your shoulders directly over your elbows your hips you're trying to get above your shoulders so press down into that ground and then nice and slow and steady, raise the legs. And then lower down. Okay, that's a very quick version of how to do Headstand, um, 
and we could go into a lot more detail but that's a quick five minute video giving you a start on how to do headstands but really get to a teacher and learn from them if you can.